Hello everybody and welcome, welcome to uh, the Spring Blog Festival. Uh, this is Nelly Deutsch, there is Sylvia, and uh, Sylvia is calling me on Skype. And uh, there's Shelly, hello, 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 hello everyone. Hi, I've been in here for like minutes, that's why I was like, did I get that time wrong? <laughs> And I've been sharing it with everywhere, including the English language, which has a million people. So I just want to make sure that I had the right one. Oh, you got the right one. And um, okay, we're ready for the million people. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so that's Shelly and Sylvia. And uh, my name is Nelly. And uh, we're so excited that uh, you're here and um, that the festival has just started. So if you could write in the chat box what the weather is like, if it's spring, I'm freezing, uh, in your area. And if it's not, we hope that you'll feel spring as we go through uh, this weekend. So I see it's sunny in Madrid. That's good. It's raining in Israel. Okay. And happy holidays, Sarah, and everyone else that uh, has their holiday this weekend. Who's having I think a holiday? It's Piram. Oh, is it? Is it? Oh, okay. I think so. Oh, yes, yes, Sarah. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> and the weather is nice in Texas. So, where are you, Shelley? I'm in uh, Houston. Well, I'm by Houston. I'm in Splendora, Texas. So, it's sunny. Yes, yes, it's sunny here. Okay, and Sylvia is in Greece. Um, I hope the weather is nice there. Yes, we had a lot of rain uh, for a week, and it, it's getting sunny today, but still kind of cold, actually. All right, so, um, and we've got Adam here. Great, that's good. <laughs> All right, so the agenda for, um, for this uh, particular uh, opening ceremony and I know it's kind of early in some parts of the world, so uh, thank you for joining us this early morning. First of all, a little introductions. We'll tell you a little bit about the festival, uh, the organizers. We have a special guest um, and uh, the presenter of the day, background on blogging, information, or process. So uh, let's start. A little bit about the Spring Blog Festival. Um, it's the first ever festival as far as i know it's three days long it's going to be from uh, this time i think we have one session eight o'clock in the morning if i'm not mistaken but it's going to be uh, from nine a full day of about uh, i think uh, eight or nine sessions until today until seven o'clock in the evening so that's a pretty long day but time really flies uh. so we hope you stick to it and enjoy yourselves and uh, it'll be today tomorrow and Sunday Sunday and tomorrow it's only until six o'clock okay so today is seven we've got presenters from all over the world there are three two areas actually with IQ and everywhere else which includes <laughs> and we'll talk about that uh, on the internet and of course in your homes and wherever you happen to be during the weekend you can use of course your iPad and walk around you can use your Android your iPhone and so on and just uh, just to see what you're using where are you and what are you using I mean I've had people in bed you know and then they'll I'm in bed <laughs> or on the beach, or uh, in your room, at work, um, on the subway, if you get connections there. I know that on most subways you don't. On the bus, I hope you're not in your car driving, but maybe parked on the side just for this. <laughs> yeah, you see we got a bedroom. There we go. Jason's in his bedroom. <laughs> And uh, Vicky is at home on her <laughs> PC. So if you're on a PC, I hope you're using your desktop. There's the WizIQ desktop, which is really, really amazing. I mean, I use it when I'm not on my Mac. Right now, I'm on my Mac. There will be one for uh, the Mac very soon, which is really exciting. I can't wait for that because it's really, really great. Nancy's with breakfast. <laughs> what? Uh, 
have yeah the hashtag thank you Shelly for that all right so the organizers uh, will introduce ourselves okay but before we do uh, the two areas as I said first of all the was IQ course area where you can get the content PowerPoint presentations of the presenters and this particular one the live online sessions are listed in the whiz IQ area can some does someone have it handy there if not I'll get it uh, also the recordings and uh, embedded YouTube and Vimeo there's also the Google Drive where um, you've got a list of the presentations presenters everything about them and the link to these live sessions there's the Twitter hashtag that Shelly has added for ongoing communication so basically there are uh, three areas that you can access anybody have that link I guess Tom is not, oh Tom's here <laughs> I'm just saying Tom's not here to grab it for us but um, I'm recording this through Camtasia thank you Tom he always comes through thank you Tom um, so um, I can't move anywhere but I've got another laptop open for support all right, so that's great. Uh, and we should probably note that the reason why it, it looks like it says a course and the reason why we mm. have you uh, register, it's all free, but this way you get a certificate so you can share that with your institute and that's what makes this a little bit different because that way you could maybe get uh, professional development credits. Yeah, that's really important. I'm glad you mentioned that about uh, certificates. Uh, yeah, certificates are part of the uh, conference for the presenters, of course, as well as for participants. We'll be talking about how you can get your certificate and uh, more information on that uh, later on as we go. So uh, stay tuned to get that information. Of course, it's a good idea if you can share, and we'll talk about that as well, so that you can qualify for the certificate that's all we ask that you share okay because uh, we'll I see my one and two disappeared here all right so um, the content as I said plus it's a place where you can connect now I've got numbers one two and three number one course feed any ideas what a course feed is because the numbers didn't come through here uh, what is a course feed you know it sounds like course feed course feed Anyone? Thank you, Maria, for adding that. Yes, it looks like it's the right one. Thank you. I don't know if that's... Okay, thanks. So what is um, a course feed? Anybody? Shelly, do you know what a course feed is? Um, Sylvia, do you know what it is? Yes. <laughs> you do? Maybe we should have had Sophia it's, go though because Sophia okay. hasn't talked much. <laughs> so a chorus feed is right here. Okay, in case you missed that because the numbers didn't come through, one, two, and three, but this is supposed to be the three came out. Uh, the one and two didn't. So yes, a chorus feed is some kind of a chat, but more specifically, it's a, anyone? It's a discussion forum. That's right. That's what you wanted to say. I knew that that's what you wanted to say. All right. So that's what it is. In addition, there's something called a courseware. Okay. Number two is a courseware, like software, hardware. There's also a courseware. And that's the content. Okay, now the content includes live classes, recordings, tutorials, PowerPoint, and embedded YouTube Vimeo recordings. Okay, and number three is very easy. It's the course learners, and it's a way for us to connect. Okay, so you can contact people. All right, so uh, these three ladies, okay, you can see us in the, uh, right there, just above in the live video stream. Uh, webcams okay there's Shelly Shelly uh, Sanchez Terrell who is currently in Texas and um, I don't see you blushing but because there's not enough light on you but uh, I, know, sorry. I think I think Early, you're a blusher yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly is uh, a very passionate 
blogger, Twitter, as well as someone who shares what she knows and uh, in a very passionate, as I said, exciting way. Uh, she's been all over the world. She's got a huge history, and we'll get to that in a second. And then there's Sylvia Gunan that uh, is a passionate thinker. You can see in this image here, she loves to share. Um, and uh, one of her uh, specialties, I would say, is uh, really thinking and trying to come up with ideas. And there's me. What I do is smile. All right, so let's get a little bit about uh, Shelly. Okay, Shelly has supported teachers and learners in 100, it should be million, but it's not. It's only 100 plus countries. <laughs> Um, through workshops, keynotes, and e-learning projects. Uh, she's involved in teaching and in learning, I guess, because she does so much of this. Uh, and you can see uh, everything about her. I think you have how many, um, uh, you, not YouTube, how many uh, Twitter subscribers do you have? How many followers? Uh, One I, I point. think it's... Almost 49,000. 49,000. Ah, 49,000. Uh, 49, That's great. All right, so we're looking forward to your first million. It should come real soon. So connect <laughs> with Shelly. Um, she will answer any questions that you have. There's Sylvia. Sylvia is a rising star uh, in the world, in actually the world of, uh, I would say, the Internet. And her presence is really amazing. She's got... 27 or 28,000 followers in one of her uh, Facebook groups. Uh, Sylvia, if you can add that in the uh, chat. I think that's just amazing because to have 25,000 yeah. is really uh, an accomplishment. It's 25, 27. It, it just goes up every week, I think, about a thousand more. How many? It changes. I'm not sure how many. I'm yeah, not sure exactly. It changes every day. But I think it's over twenty-eight thousand. Anyway. Yeah, I think it's over. Well, for sure, over twenty-five thousand. And as you can see, Sylvia is very, very modest about her accomplishments. But um, I can see a lot of wonderful things happening. She's very passionate about uh, collaborating and working together, and I think that's uh, that's a wonderful um, characteristics. And that's me. Um, I'm not very special, I don't think. But um, <laughs> as I said, you are. You're super special. <laughs> as I we said, we would be here without you. <laughs> as I said, I like to smile. I believe that uh, you know a smile can get you a long way, and that's what I try to do. I try to go through uh, life smiling. So uh, that's my uh, my thing. All right. Um, so we're gonna get started with. Um, introducing our special guest uh, if you could just give me a thumbs up how many of you uh, have seen or heard of this person jason r levine fluency mc no 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 interesting no Woo. okay all right thumbs up I, I guess not everybody can find the thumb there but thumbs up if you have thumbs down if you haven't Smiley, anything else? Uh, okay, so uh, Jason R. Levine, a little bit about Jason here. Jason um, has been teaching English, ELT, and uh, teacher training, and so on, material writer, uh, for 15 years. He's very passionate about sharing, very enthusiastic, like everyone else who's passionate about um, sharing information. He does it through rap, but he also speaks. He doesn't just rap. Um, Jason, are you in the house? Uh, Jason will be with us. I don't see Jason yet. Uh, no, he said he was in bed, actually, so I'm not sure whether he's having breakfast. And yeah, there he is. There he's he in is. the chat. Yeah, I saw him in the chat. <laughs> okay, so Jason um, is going to uh, give us a special at the end of the session. Okay, so there's Jason still. Are you out of bed? Everybody. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I'm not checking you in bed, actually. I'm, I'm standing up. <laughs> no, I can see you standing up proof that he's not in bed. Okay, so Jason's <laughs> going to be with us at the end with a special treat. All right, so Sylvia, mm -hmm. if you'd like to uh, continue, I'll let you do that. 
Okay, hi everybody. Great to be here and see so many familiar people. Um, this is just a big picture of who we are and what we're going to be presenting. And I think a lot of you who are here recognize yourselves because a lot of you are presenters. So it's great that we're all here together for the first introduction. So um, there, we are many, many presenters really. So I've got about four slides of our topics. And it's nice to see them laid out like this because we get to see the variety of topics. Okay, so we've got Shelley with microblogging, and that's just the tip of the iceberg because she'll talk about vlogging and reblogging as well. So that will be full of surprises. Okay, mine is called Help Help Them Shine because I'm going to show you how my blogging experiences. Um, lead me to help other people to do what they want with their work or with their learning. Um, there's a lot of detail involved in there. Now, um, I'll just go quickly through Marisa, who's been uh, teaching online for a long time. Um, I learned a lot from her when I first started. Um, she's going to tell us why she blogs. Um, she's one of our most experienced bloggers, I would say. Um, I blog a lot, but recently I haven't been doing it quite as long, probably. Um, so we've got um, Karen talking about our blogs ourselves. Uh, we've got interactive blogging with Tara Benwell, who's a really well-known blogger and writer. And we've got how to challenge e-teachers to blog. So some of us who work online do a lot of blogging, but not everybody. And this is a time of discovery for us to realize what we're doing, we're not just uh, writing articles for a little bit of publicity, it's much, much deeper and much more exciting, okay? And we also have blogging with 140 characters or less, so kind of like Twitter, and building up networks with social media with our daddy blogger, Ricky Shetty. So I've got all the names, but I'm running through quickly because you'll be able to go through all details from the courseware with, with all the PowerPoints and all the full descriptions of these. I find every session to be so different and so interesting. There's so much to learn from. Okay? Uh, right. So, more on the next page, if it, if it moves. Can you see it? Okay. So, we've got reasons for blogging, connecting with students, multimedia, engaging students with lots of ideas, um, connecting with Dr. Nancy, this is probably more about professional development. So we've got a mixture of student-centered and professional development and reflective blogging as well. Um, I, do, I do a lot of prof professional development and work students and reflective blogging because that's something different and very special too. Um, so also about collecting knowledge curation and what teachers can do online and some nice experiments from Adam Beale. So, so many different things going on with different teachers and educators and that's why blogging is really special. And we've, you know, our students, we're going to learn what students can do later as well. Okay, these were three special presenters that wouldn't fit on the page. So I zoomed in here. Dr. Nelly is going to tell us about web questing with blogs, so that's really exciting. Um, uh, we're going to have more reflective learning with uh, Lumida Smirnoff and then interactive blogging with Linda Yollis. Okay, and I know that they do a lot of great work with students and teacher development. Um, these are going to a day-to-day -day basis. This one is Saturday. Again, lots of people here. So, student blogging, rise of the semantic web, um, breaking down classroom walls, one of my favorite topics. Um, okay, we have Andre Sprang talking about blogging with Twitter and the Vine, and we have Fabiana Casella, someone uh, very close in our networks, who is going to give us a, a really nice personal account of how she started blogging. She's been blogging, uh, she started recently, but she had a very big impact on all kinds of networks everywhere, including the British Council. Um, so she's just kind of made a big impact, and it's great that we have her here. Um, we have Adam Sikinski, who I personally invited because um, he's created something amazing with mind mapping. So uh, 
when, when you go to his presentation, I think you're going to be extremely surprised by interactivity, comics, and mind map and concepts for thinking and visual thinking. Okay, we have Tony Gore talking about rediscovering visual literacy, and that's a huge thing with blogging, visual literacy, and it ties in with what Adam is interested in and also what I like. Um, so we also have Cheryl Lent talking about technology, and uh, Benjamin Stewart, someone else who's very experienced online, and he's going to showcase his blog for us. Um, I think we've got Sunday. Um, we can have a quick look at Sunday. Oh, it's finished. Sorry. Okay. Now, I'll add one more thing then. Um, what I want to say is that all of the presentations uh, that we're going to have in this three-day festival will be recorded on YouTube. All of the PowerPoints will go onto SlideShare, and then we're going to showcase absolutely everything. We're going to have images and biographies of each presenter and their uh, videos of their lessons and their PowerPoints, and we're going to keep them all in one place on the WizIQ platform. So you can share that link wherever you go. And in this, in this day and age, everything should be easy to find and shareable and not hidden behind passwords. So it's going to be lovely when it's done, and they can all be shared on Pinterest. So we're going to have a huge festival poster of everybody's work. Okay? So that's it from me. Thank you. I'll move the slide for uh, Shelley then. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, um, Sylvia. Shelley, you wanted to add a few things about the presenters, so I think that maybe we should go back. Shelley, you had some things that you wanted to say. Um, okay, so... Uh, oh, then... I was just saying in the chat box that we have uh, our presenters from all over the world, uh, different con uh, continents, um, are represented here um, and just to let everyone know that um, if you're new to blogging or if you're starting a blogging project with your student or if you have a blog and you're trying to find a way to build a better audience or connect with people these are um, presenters who have volunteered their time and we really really appreciate them um, they have been blogging for years and they are really well known um, they do many different things so um, it'll be a great way to connect with others and also learn from them we have student bloggers there as well so you'll see projects from from, um, we have Linda Yolas, who has won the Edu Blogs Awards many, many times uh, for her uh, twelve. I mean, for her six, seven, eight-year-olds. Uh, we have Aviva, Aviva's first graders microblog. So um, you're in for a great, great treat. <laughs> And then we also have panels. I guess I should talk about the panels now. Yeah, or? that's what I was thinking. And if you can point, or I'll point to their. Um or you can, I see that Barbara is here, point, uh, if you can get a pointer there, Shelley, and point um, and tell us where they're from, perhaps, and then I'll go through everyone and, tell, um, and share where they are from, because we've got a lot of countries, as you said. So uh, go ahead. Yes. Thank yeah. you, Shelley. Okay. Uh, we do have um, each day on Friday, uh, I mean Saturday and Sunday, we, I will be moderating a blogger panel. So we have invited authors who are also teacher trainers um, who go all over the world and are plenary speakers and just share so much and have written some of the most profound books, at least in English language teaching. And even um, Dr. Cheryl, she's uh, written one that's um, just a world famous book. So um, we have them for, and they'll be joining us and they're going to be talking about how they, as authors, why they decided to blog um, and what the blogging, the moments that have come out. Uh, we have very incredible guests. We have Barbara Sakamoto, um, who's the Let's Go blog. She's from Japan, and Chuck Sandy will be joining us in that panel as well uh, from Japan. And it, 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 there's too many books to mention and too many things that they have done that's to mention, um, but it's really great that they'll be sharing with us. It's a special treat because you know that you have to go to conferences to see them usually. We also have Jeremy Harmer, uh, the Jeremy Harmer joining us, so we're very excited about that. Maybe he'll have his guitar out and sing a bit for us, who created the Teaching English Practice book that 
a lot of uh, people train with all over the world. So um, that's very, very cool that he could join us. And Luke Meddings, the founder of, I'm not going to say it right, uh, Adam, you can correct me inside the box, dog, ma, dog me, I don't know which one it is. <laughs> It changes all the time. Um, <laughs> me, okay, dog me. Um, and he's just, uh, just where? to have the founder. Where is, is he, uh, Shelly? Where's his um, photo? Um, he's, he, uh, Luke is right here. Sorry, I forgot to put my orange uh, a pointer there. And Luke is uh, goes between um, Spain and also the UK. Jeremy Harmer's in the UK. Um, we also have David Duba Boyce. Uh, uh, many of you may know him of his EFL classroom. And David is recently, he's in Guatemala, but he's from Canada. So, um, and David has done the Zen of teaching practice. He's the EFL classroom, um, created that. So it's really wonderful. We have Vicki Hollett, who's now in the U.S., but comes from the U.K., famous for her simple English video site, but also her speak uh, American, because uh, now she's living in the U.S., so she's very famous for that. And uh, Dr. Cheryl, we have, and I believe is Dr. Cheryl from the U.S. You know a little bit yes, more she about is. her. Yeah, yeah, she's a, yeah, she's in the United States. Um, yeah, let's see if I. And there she has she is. a best-selling book of re. Uh, I think it's re rethinking or reflecting uh, where students learn how to write their thesis from all over the world. Uh, is, she's a best-selling author. So uh, we have a mixture of um, people from all over and authors to give you insight. And um, it's just great to be able to have them talk to us. And I, I think I got everybody. I'm not sure. Well, I, I hope so. I hope I'm, nice putting a, <laughs> I'm, I'm putting a yellow frame. Tell me if I missed one, point to it, and I'll try to, oops, I think I just messed up here, and I'll try to get them. Shelly, did I miss someone? Oh, we have uh, Barbara and Chuck right under Yeah, that, and Yeah, I know. I, David. No, but someone else that I don't know. I think I missed uh, a famous person. No, because I think we only have seven. Oh, that's it? So that's two, four. Yeah. Okay. So we have two panels. Yeah. So that should be everyone. <laughs> All right. So I, I just wanted to say that we do have an amazing international um, group here uh, from around the globe. We've got Canadians. We've got a dad who blogs. Okay. And he's going to be talking about that later on. That's Ricky. And Ricky, oops. Um, Ricky is right here. Oh, it won't let me do that. There, there's Ricky, um, and um, we've got Mexico, United States, Spain, Japan, Germany. Okay, there's our. Oh, my mouse is not doing too well. Uh, Germany, Australia, uh, Brazil. Okay, here's Brazil. Uh, did I miss any country? Let's see. Uh, uh, Turkey, Turkey. And I think that's it. And Japan, of course. Yes, we've got Japan, uh, the United States. Yeah, I think I've got everybody. All right. So Did we mention Greek? Greek. Um, yes, we've got Greece, too. That's right. We've got Nina from Greece. Um, Did, yes. Did we say Spain? Because Adam, so. um, yeah, Adam and... Yeah, Adam and Spain. We've got a few. Yes, we, I think we've got two from Spain as well. And that's it. The world is really small. We have Australia. Australia, as I mentioned that. All right. So if you think of any other country, um, so lots of, okay, a little bit about blogging, unless there are questions. If you can add some questions in the chat box, um, Marissa, yes, Spain. I think we've got two from Greece. We've got Marissa, and we also have uh, another presenter. Sylvia. <laughs> oh, so, so we've got three from Greece. Wow, that's that's amazing. Yes, we have. <laughs> that's right. Originally from Ireland. Yes, and now living in Greece. That's right. And we've got Jason, who's in Paris right now. Originally from the United States. Yeah, people move around. So, uh, yeah. Okay, a little bit about blogging. Okay, feel free to add questions, and ladies, feel free to jump in. And if anyone wants to jump in and uh, 
grab the mic just um, you know put your thumbs up and write mic and I'll pass on the mic a little bit of a history of blogging for those of you that don't know well let me just ask you and see if you do know but if you go into Wikipedia you'll get all this information so let's see how fast you are when did blog start year and you're gonna be amazed but when did they start any ideas 2002 okay 1990 okay it's getting warmer before my online maybe before you were born some of you you know what maybe before you were born actually <laughs> believe it or not there may be someone in here uh, who was born after blog started I don't know how old you are but we'll see in a minute before me wrong. before yeah well yes pretty much before any of you uh, were online I presume Melanie says 25 years ago Melanie are you 24 uh, no Nancy well you might want to go to Wikipedia and check up on it but the year let's see if anybody's closer um, it was before 1992 just to give you a little uh, hint here somebody wrote Stella wrote 1980 that's close anybody born before or not before but after 19 not 89 you're getting closer it's 198 something well I'll give you the number not 87 okay no more guesses 1983 when my son was born <laughs> all right which is uh yes um where was the first blog that's a good one you'll have to get all the information on wikipedia there's the link and <laughs> the power. 1983 yes that's when it started okay uh, unofficially and there's a bit of information there uh what's the difference between a blog a web blog and a vlog You'll be hearing more about that later on today from Shelly. Right, Shelly? You're going to be talking about weblog vlog in the next session. So I'm not going to tell you, but you might want to, you know, guess and see what the difference is between a blog and a web log. Okay. Um, actually, uh, blogs started out as diaries or journals. By the way, how many of you had a journal or a diary you know what diary maybe not a journal it's a bit much but a diary have any of you had a diary as kids or maybe as adults okay thumbs up if you've ever had a diary I can tell you I had a diary I had a few diaries okay and you might think about you know your connection for those of you who had diaries do you blog is there a connection uh, do you ever think about your days when you were young your days uh, with the diary dear diary is that how you started Shelly did you have a diary Sylvia yes a million <laughs> <laughs> so how did you start your diary so that now I know that you were born uh, before 1983 otherwise you would have a blog right so uh, yeah how did you start it dear diary or something else okay which is interesting because that's not how we start a blog okay we don't start I think you start dear with blog. dear diary and maybe with the blog you started with hello world <laughs> if you were one of the first ones dear blog, <laughs> dear blog. Dear blog. hello world I mean, that would be really funny a dear blog <laughs> or dear vlog dear okay but usually we write to people okay the difference is dear diary you kept yourself with a blog you're actually um, you know it's public I don't know if there are too many people who have private blogs anyone here have a private blog where you don't share it with anyone okay a private yeah. blog do you Shelly you have I a private <laughs> oh, you do okay but I've often wanted to have a private blog but it's very hard for me I don't know about you guys but I like to share so for me to have a private blog is really difficult okay so what is the purpose of blogging why do we blog well we may blog uh, because we want to share and we want to educate the world 
uh, maybe for our students okay so education is one reason why people blog some people blog for business and I'm sure you've seen a lot of blogs that do it for business reasons okay to market a product also to market books uh, innovations and so on so lots of blogs out there um, you know newspapers uh, publishers do a lot of blogging and of course uh, presence online presence so how many of you blog because you want to have an online presence anyone here uh, with a desire to have an online presence hello Doris good to see you okay so um, I know that Doris uses it with her students quite extensively and Doris I'm looking forward to hearing from you on this maybe uh, next time at the next uh, blog festival maybe summer maybe autumn maybe we'll have this for every season um we'll see eh, ladies that might be something so yes we have different reasons for blogging now what what is um, unique to blogs unlike diaries and so on or websites or social networks what's unique to blogs okay and i've made a list here maybe you can add to it uh, you have discussion threads you can add comments it's called the post and have you ever thought about why it's called the post you post I don't know if it bothers you I know that uh, I have often been bothered by this why do I have to call it a post ladies anyone why do we call it a post why am I sending a post like do I go to instead of going to the post office is it like a letter okay so it's called the post or maybe the idea of emails and then we have pages okay now blogs have pages and how do you view your pages what are these things are there like uh, web pages okay and then there are, of course we can add uh, media multimedia like audio video text images these are things that were added later on of course uh, in my day sorry to admit this but at the beginning there were HTML but not HTML they were called markers blog markers they were horrible I don't know if anybody uh, familiar with the blog markers anyone blog markers um, they were very very difficult <laughs> to um, to share yes very very cumbersome codes for blogs anyone uh, remember those days okay and today you can have uh, the cloud you can have your blog on the cloud <laughs> and you can share it with <laughs> like captain's log that's good that's good that's right um, and you can share them on the cloud anyone have a cloud blog of their own what is a cloud okay what does it mean to have a cloud right now there's uh, the Mac the Apple anyone have the Apple I think some of you might have it Shelly do you have it the Apple cloud where you can it's it's still in beta I think but it's quite nice okay what's it called Shelly the uh, the Apple cloud the uh, I I just it just tells me iCloud. Yeah, iCloud. yeah iCloud that's right the iCloud yes I call it the Apple cloud because um, anything connected to Apple for me is just a, an Apple yes but it's yeah it's the iCloud and then of course the collaborative wiki like blog okay wiki like anyone have a collaborative wiki like blog where people can work together on the blog anyone okay Shelly has one now what's interesting <laughs> is you can subscribe you know look at these you know the words here subscribe to a blog okay what does it mean to subscribe okay this is uh, one of the things that you can do you've got 28 okay that's nice um, subscribe to it you can join of course and you can be made an author of a blog or you can be an administrator or just a subscriber okay there are different levels that you can have you can register for a blog thank you and what's really really unbelievable I don't think there is any such thing as an open blog every blog 
is password protected. I don't know if you like this or if you don't like this. Um, any thoughts? But every blog is password protected. In other words, you have to uh, join and you, if you're an administrator or if you have any other role, it's password protected. Okay, so that's something that uh, I'm not so sure about. Well, that's not true. Actually. No. <laughs> what is not? Because if, if you have micro, if you do microblogging or um, n nowadays with Tumblr and stuff, you can submit. Yeah, Tumblr is great. Yeah. Sell code. So a lot of times, uh, and now they have things where you can blog and then it disappears. You don't even have to say. Oh yeah, are. right, right, right. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you still you still have you still have your yeah. name there. It's not it's not anonymous like you know on a wiki maybe, and and that's the question that I used to have: wiki or blog? Okay, I don't think it's a question anymore. You can do both, but there's always the question of um, you know, do you want a wiki or do you want a blog? But today it's uh, the wiki like blogs. So it's quite nice. All right. So next question is this. We've got a few minutes here, and I'd like to hear from you guys. Uh, information or process. What do you expect from these online presentations? Okay. Are you going to give us a V or not? Are you going to give us a star? Are you going to give us a thumbs down? What are you going to do with the presentations? Well, Online presentations, do you want information? Give me a thumbs up if you only come to presentations because you want information. That's not true for me. Everything, right, Sylvia. You're wholesome. That's right, the whole person. Everything. The process, okay. That's a question that I often ask, you know, um, presenters because sometimes... Uh, you know, people who come to these live sessions get very annoyed. I didn't get any information. And, and they go away <laughs> complaining. I didn't get anything. I didn't get, inf I didn't get anything new. So, you know, are you, you have to decide, you know, what do you want? Do you want information? Is that what's important to you? Or do you also want the experience? Okay, is the experience important? for you okay so if um, you only want information uh, you may want to watch the recordings but then even then you might feel like you wasted your time but if you want the process and a bit of information then you've come to the right place so the question is what will these presentations do for me okay what will they do for me well if you like uh, introspection and self-development you will get a lot guaranteed if you want to engage with the content the presenters and others you've come to the right place if you want to connect you've come to the right place but you have to decide uh, what are you connecting for what are you connecting for okay so think about it uh, socializing are you here to um, make friends if you are I've made some really really close friends and some of them are right here on Wiz IQ in the chat box. Uh, let's see who's here. Uh, I became friends with Nancy. Uh, Ludmilla and I became very close friends and we met in a chat box like this one. So actually you can make really, really close friends. So if you're here for socializing, this is just for you. If you want to acquire information, it's up to you. If you have other reasons for coming, welcome. All right, so what are you going to do with whatever you get? Well, what you're going to do is blog it. Okay, so blog it. This is a spring blog festival. It's about blogging. So blog, blog, blog. Questions? Any questions? Happy well, we birthday. have a birthday girl. Who's well, a birthday? Happy birthday? Who's birthday? Ludmilla? Ludmilla? Oh. I don't... Ludmilla? <laughs> I thought you had your birthday. Is this a second birthday? Or is this our birthday? <laughs> what birthday? Birthday? Did I miss a birthday? 
yesterday? I missed your birthday? Shame, shame, yeah. shame. Oh my he gosh. Has the same birthday as the internet. So happy birthday to Dr. Ludmila and happy the internet. Birthday. <laughs> That's right. People should have birthday every month. I totally, <laughs> every day of the month, Nancy. Um, that's true. That's true. Every day of the month. All right. So questions, comments. You have a birth. Melanie has a birthday a week. I totally agree with you. Only I don't want a birthday. Leave birthdays out for me. <laughs> every Friday, Tom. All right. So you can have my birthday. My birthday is the 28th of August. I'm selling it. Anybody buying? It's yours. <laughs> All right. Any questions, comments? It started on March International. Yes, it is. It's the International Women's Day. But it's only a day. Shouldn't it be a life? <laughs> only one day. We should have Men's Day and Women's Month, maybe. Every day. All right, Sylvia, I'm going to leave uh, the floor open. Raise your hand, and Shelly, raise your hand if you'd like to share comments. I'm ready for Jace. <laughs> Anyone? All right, so you're ready for Jace. All right, so let's go back to Jace. All right, so uh, Jace is on. Anybody remember what slide? Next one? Before that? I don't remember. Okay, let's see. Yep. All right, Jace, are you in the house? Is Jace in the house? There we are. All right. Slide number 10, Jace's favorite number. All right, Jace. Let's try to get Jace up here. Um, let me get rid of my, so I can, I see a lot of people have, wow. I'm uh, recording this. You'll be able to see what I'm doing. You can't see it right now. But I'm making the list longer. I don't see Jace. Jace, up again. Jace, you've got the co-presenter link. Why aren't you using the co-presenter link? That was the idea. That I don't have to go through the list. Co-presenter. <laughs> Jace, you're a co-presenter. Where are you? Ooh. I really can't see you on the list. Oh, there you are. Found you. Found you. All right. So Jason R. Levine, there we are, is right there. For those of you, hello, who, hello. there we are. Let me go back to slide number 10. Tell you a little bit about Jace in case you've forgotten. All right. So Jace is actually um, call, call learn. He's our... Um, He's everything that you want him to be, but he's currently the ambassador and knowledge entertainer at WizIQ. So, Jace, what do you have to say? We can't really see you that well. No? What's, no. what's wrong? It, you're, it, yeah. I mean, can, I, don't, I don't see uh, the features of your face. Ah, oh, much better. <laughs> Wait, uh, your head, I only see the top of it. Oh. Yeah, the light. Uh, no, not in the light. That that's it. Much better. Yeah, that's it. Now I can see some features. I mean, I can see eyes. <laughs> I can see your ears better. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Uh, one moment. All right. So we've got a surprise for you, like I said. And we've got 10 minutes for our surprise. Okay. Um, one, one thing before we start, what I have, to, what I have for everyone today is a very short song chant I wrote to, uh, for, for, uh, the Spring Vlog Festival, what I've been calling the Spring Vlog Fest. Uh, I don't have the lyrics ready right now. So what I'm thinking is I can do it 
Uh, I'll do it slowly so you can get an idea of what it sounds like without music. And then it's my fault. I, I had the, the lyrics a little late. Uh, so what we could do maybe is send them uh, or rather put them. What is going on at Dr. Nelly's? In I was just going to um, show you my heart. Okay. I don't have the dog, so there's a heart. It's a heart. <laughs> Yeah, I, I thought you were, you know, you were pushing like, you know, some kind of meat, animal, something into, it's like <laughs> online heckling thing going on there, but uh, I love you too, Dr. Nan, and uh, I'm about to begin, and what I'm going to do is just do this thing real slowly without music, and then uh, I'll give you, give you a feel for it, and then I'm going to put some music on and try it, and then we'll put the lyrics up in the courseware. Uh, for the Bog Festival, and that way you can check them out, and maybe I'll come back in. I hope we do a video for it before the end, or maybe next week we'll see. But anyways, uh, getting to it. This song is called Get Your Blog On. And again, I'm going to do it a cappella style with no music, and I uh, hope you can follow me. It goes like this. Welcome to SBF, the Spring Blog Fest. We're blessed with many guests who come to lead us on a quest to learn and engage on the world stage. So get your blog on in the internet age. What's in store? We've got writers galore. Come and get a taste and you'll be yearning for more. Explore a blog into, oh, what, learning for more. Explore blogging to enhance reflective practice in your teaching. Because it's all about engagement and how far your work is reaching. Knowledge about blogging is easily obtained. Learn how to set up a blog and to maintain it. Ideas for projects for your students online. Tips and experiences to help you shine. Join me, stellar bloggers, and you'll learn with the best WizIQ brings to you the Spring Blog Fest. That's so that's how it goes. It's long. You it it it's long. Yeah. So I'm going to pull out some music now and do it. Uh, and uh, like I said, this, this music is not, and we'll be the Dr. Nelly. Everybody do the Dr. Nelly. Get your Dr. Nelly on as you get your blog on. That's the Dr. Nelly. That's the patented Dr. Nelly dance. So yeah, we got to get, get your Dr. Nelly going here. And uh, I'm going to put out some music. It is not my music. You'll probably recognize it. It's some very famous hip hop music. Uh, just to make sure that we do this thing right the right way to first, uh, and uh, maybe I'll make some music for it down the road, we'll see. So uh, without further ado, I'll put the music on. We'll do a little sound check, you tell me if it's too loud or too soft, if Dr. Nelly is animated enough or not, we can get her to turn it on or t turn it up or turn it down. Uh, I'm going to get the, tell me the music, I got a little uh, lead in here, tell me if it's too loud or too soft. Right now, it's nothing. <laughs> Is that too loud or too soft? It's good? It's good? All right. So I want y'all to say, get your blog on. 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 There we go. <laughs> get your blog on. All right, now check this out. Try this. Welcome to SBF. Check this out. Welcome to SBF, the spring block. That's what busted many guests who come to lead us on a quest to learn and engage on the world stage. So get your blog on in the internet age. Welcome to SBF, the spring block. That's what busted many guests who come to lead us on a quest to learn and engage on the world stage. So get your blog on in the internet age. What's the story? We got writers galore. Come and get a teacher. You'll be yearning for more. Explore blogging to enhance your fucking practice in your teaching. Because it's all about engagement and how far your work is reaching. Knowledge about blogging. You'll easily obtain it. Learn how to set up a blog and to maintain it. Ideas for projects for your students online. Tips and experiences to make you shine. Join these stellar bloggers and you'll learn what the best. We that you bring to you the spring blog fest. All right, we'll go back and do the chorus. Here we go, here we go. Welcome to SBF, the Spring Block Festival. Best of many guests who come to lead us on a quest to learn and engage on the world stage. So get your blog on in the internet age. Peace. <laughs> I hope you like that. I know without the lyrics, it's kind of hard to follow. 
I'll put the lyrics up, or rather, Shelly Nelly and uh, Sylvia, Sylvia G and SST and Dr. Nelly D in the place to be. This is Wiz IQ and the SP, the Spring Block Fest. Thank you very much. Amazing. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. You. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Amazing. I love it. Love it. He just disappeared. <laughs> that was great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jace. Amazing. Lovely. I love Jace's uh, chants. I call them chants, but actually they're raps because they're so in the words are so intelligent. Uh, they're, they're so meaningful. They're so full of, you know, so much meaning that, um, thank you in green. That's Jason. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, yes, go ahead, Sylvia. Yeah, I think Barbara wants to say something. Oh, Barbara, yes, of course. Um, Barbara, if you could just uh, raise your hand there. There is a hand raised. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just go through your name here until I find it, which I don't see it any. Oh, there she is. There's Barbara. Oh, accident. Okay, I passed, on, I passed on the mic to her. Anyone else would like to speak? You're welcome. It didn't go through. Why is that? I don't. I think she said she raised her hand by accident. No, that's okay. No, I. But I gave her. Oh, oh, she doesn't want to speak. Sorry. Oh, I was hoping she Hi. would. All right. Okay, we've got about three minutes. Uh, if anyone wants to uh, try out the mic, it's really nice to try it out. Once you try it out, you don't want to leave it. Trust me. Um, try it especially if you're presenting all right so we'll see barbara tomorrow and we'll see you i hope uh, i guess it's uh, late in japan late at night so for her it's tomorrow for us it's today i think that's what you meant uh exactly <laughs> uh okay All right, so thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Sylvia. Shelly's getting ready for a session. The next session, if um, we can add that in the chat, maybe, if someone has the link, that would be great. Otherwise, see you in one minute, two minutes. All right, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Nelly. Thanks, everybody. Great being here. And I'll be back later, of course. Bye. Yes.